going to be using a drop D tuning method on this. Um, it works actually really well for this and uh, you know pretty simple just to drop right into. Um, so we'll have the D A D G B E and this initial intro here kind of starts off a little bit you know mellow, uh, maybe a little cleaner. Um, just starts with a G sus2. So we'll just do the fives here on the low D and the A, and then the seven on the middle D and the G. And the strum, it's kind of like this delayed, like strum, strum, strum. You know, you can, you can go down, up, no big deal. Just kind of like a, sp a little spaced out. Um, then we just take that shape, that sus2 drop D shape, drop it down to the, the E sus2. So we got the two on the D and A, four on the D and G. And with this, it's kind of like a one, two, one, 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 one. All right, and then we just take that and slide it up to tens and twelves for the C sus two. And with this, it's kind of like a ba da ba ba, just wrapping it up. It's pretty loose, you know, you don't have to like have it exact every time just like that, you know, you can be a little free with it, you know, and don't, don't sweat that. Um, but uh, it's the same progression from the intro and then we get to the uh, kind of big everybody in kind of section. And with this tuning, if you like incidentally hit some like open B and E strings with it, that's cool too, it sounds fine, uh, but it's not necessary. <laughs> cool sound to it so if you want to just go even like gnarlier that you can just not worry about trying to mute those okay sounds cool in every chord um so there's that little option and as far as the second guitar it's just doing these kind of like octave lead things um we start up here do this a octave at the 12 a and the 14 g and it's that same kind of like delayed strum and you can crank the reverb and delay a little more on this to get just to fill it out more and sustain it. Um, just hit that a few times, drop it down to the 9 and 11 octave here. All right, just give it a few strums. And this is all kind of like a loose thing, too. You're like, you can play around with this a bit. Um, it'll hit uh, occasionally, it hits these notes here the B and the G flat, and you can get that with the 12 B and the uh, 11 on the G here. Like it, it drops those in like occasionally there and sometimes it'll do it twice. All right. And then you can kind of play around with this bit where you take the, the A string here and you can just bounce between the 10 and nine, 10. All right. Just playing around with that. And you know, you can interpolate, uh, what's the tabs are showing here. Like, mix in those high notes a couple times, bounce between the 10 and 9 a little more than you would. So it's essentially kind of like a rough sketch of what's going on there, and you can just uh, fill in however you like with the, those notes and what's happening there. And eventually the second guitar does, it comes up real high. It'll, I like to kind of shift that. Uh, it takes those same 12, 11 notes here, um, but you, you kind of hear this slide up, so I like to drop it down to sevens on the B and E. It's the same notes. But I like to do it there so I can slide up to fourteens. All right, and then once we get there, we just start trend picking on the fourteen of the high E, and we bounce between fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, and we just stay on fifteen for a bit. All right, so it's kind of a, a high lead section that happens there. Um, other than that, we just kind of cycle through the main progression and all that, and eventually we get to this outro bit where, you know, the feel kind of shifts a little. Um, we drop to this uh, kind of clean tone, chilled out vibe again, where it's uh, a D5 with an A on top. So we, I like to just do it kind of in this open position, makes it pretty easy. So we do the open D here with the 2G, 3B. Now we want this A on top, so open A. <laughs> It's the same kind of strum, 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 
And then basically we want to make that open A a one, right? And then just do strum, strum, strum. All right. And eventually we kind of mix in this high F sharp note here, the two. So it's just a full D chord now, keeping the same open D, uh, D and A there. But we're going to want our one A, so uh, we kind of need to shift to the one on the A. And I like to just, you know, we need our two on the G, so I just f scratch that two on the high E and just bring up and support there with the two on the G. All right. All right. So there's a little subtle thing there. And then it goes through that a handful of times and then caps it off with uh, the G sus, the fives on the D and A, seven on the D and G there. Strum, 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 slide up to the 10 and 12s for the C sus. Strum, strum, strum. All right, and then it eventually gets to the full blown version of it where just start with like a big D5. So we can do the open low D, the 5A, seven on the middle D and the G. It's that same strum, 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 strum. All right, and then we just do like a B flat power chord, so just eights on the D, A, D. Strum, 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 strum. All right, go through that progression a handful of times and then just cap it off again with that same G sus with the five and sevens up to the C sus with the 10 and 12s. All 